Yeah, yeah, to score three goals against a team like Toledo is, uh, is nice, but unfortunately we put ourselves in the hole by going 4-0 down. Um, so, yeah, we're disappointed with, with losing the game, to be honest. Uh, you know, we've been scoring a lot of goals, um, but uh, just been letting too many in. We're, we're working on that in the um, practice field. We've got to get better at that. We know that. Yeah, I think bo the start to both halves, we, we put ourselves um, uh, in some trouble. Uh, the, we let in some silly goals. It took us about 20 minutes to get into it in the first half, and we were struggling and let in two goals, and uh, I had given them some other opportunities. And then we got into it and p finished out the half pretty strong, um, pretty confident going into the second half just with how we had finished, and uh, let some silly goals in again and um, found ourselves 4-0 uh, down. Um, but the, the one thing I'll say is that, you know, we scored, I think, in the 83rd and the 86th minute or 85th minute, something like that. And, you know, if it's 0-0 zero, zero at that point and we're still focused and uh, we're playing for full 90, like, that's important. But obviously that wasn't the case on Sunday. But, you know, thinking positively and thinking about um, how easy it would have been for us to put our heads down and say, oh, it's done and dusted, you know. Um, we just finished this game out. We didn't really have that mentality. We thought, hey, let's get let's get one back. Let's get another. Let's you know. And at the end of the game, we we actually thought, hey, we might get something here. I think we had maybe four and a half minutes left, and um, we put a, a couple of fresh legs on the field and tried to finish it out and see if we could get that fourth goal. And I think that made Toledo a little nervous. Well, uh, you know, Tyler Allison, I think she got two assists. Um, again on the weekend and uh, one of them was directly from you know the training ground where we had worked on a set piece and her delivery was fantastic made it very easy for uh, both goals actually um, Lisa Underwood had a, a little bit more to do with hers but Rhea was, Rhea's was just a tap in but Ty did a good job her service was great you know, on the day and then at times you know we had our midfielders uh, move the ball pretty well and got our players our forwards in behind so you know there were some bright spots um, with regards to possession as well. They were able to possess the ball at times against a, a strong Toledo team and, and that kind of um, gives us some confidence. Yeah, you know, I think we're in a fortunate position to where we have some experienced goalkeepers so that if someone is injured, you know, we can give them a game off. Or, um, so we'll, we'll just see. I mean, it's early yet, so we want to protect our players and make sure that we're healthy going into the important part of our season, which is obviously our conference uh, play. So if we have to, for the next month or so, um, get through with using both goalkeepers, then we will do that, and um, we'll see how things go. Uh, I think we're, we're working on some of the things that we found that we're kind of doing game uh, after game, just some uh, defensive errors, just trying to clean those up, some uh, midfield pressing, some shape. Um, as we're averaging two goals a game, we're scoring two goals a game, so, you know, we want to continue that. So we'll keep, we'll continue to brush up on, uh, you know, getting into the final third and creating opportunities, but uh, mostly just our defensive shape right now. And we worked on that this morning, we'll continue to work on that for uh, the rest of this week, and then next week is uh, kind of like a game, game week, so we can um, we can get back into our regular routine then. Yeah, you know, we're, it's exciting to see because we've been here, Joe and I have been here, you know, obviously from 07 when we kind of went to the Summit League and we've kind of gone from, you know, winning a game to not winning a game to winning one game to winning four to winning seven. So we're, you know, we see the progress, not just in obviously the wins and losses, but uh, obviously just in the art being able to play the style of play we want to. And uh, so we're able to challenge uh, this group of girls um, a lot. And that's, that's exciting for us as coaches to be able to do that. And our standards are higher, our expectations are higher. We go out to, against teams like Toledo and we expect to win those games. You know, said it to the girls this morning, we scored three goals against Toledo, we should be winning that game. Um, so for all that it was nice to come back, we're still disappointed with the loss. And, and the same with Valparaiso. Not to dwell on Valparaiso, but that's a game we felt we should have um, gotten a result from, especially with scoring goals. So it's, it's exciting because we can challenge them, and we do have higher expectations, as, um, and we will continue to have those expectations as we move forward. We're looking forward to Niagara and Buffalo going on the road um, and playing up there. There's going to be another new challenge for us. We've actually never played these guys before, so um, this is kind of like the unknown.